Hi, my name is James Vaughn. I've been tattooing 25 years. I'm from Asheboro, North Carolina. My favorite style of tattooing is Japanese, mainly just because I love the, the style, the bold color, um, strong lines, and the, and the deep tradition. You know, the tradition of tattooing in Japan far exceeds ours, so it's a, a respect issue, and I love the style, and I love the tradition. The style that I'm mostly known for is traditional Japanese. I do really huge, overwhelming, in-your-face tattoos. Tattoos are designed to be looked at from afar, and um, I like to use the size of the body. You know, the bigger the body, the better, um, the better imagery. Um, I try to do everything as big as possible and still make sense. I'm just known for big, bold color, big, huge tattoos done really quick. I love color tattoos more than black and gray, um, just because I can I can further my you know progressions in uh, shades and tones. I do everything black and gray first, so I'm not really happy with the black and gray. Uh, I can add so much more depth and so much more body to the whole picture, you know, with color because you can add more little contrast to it. My top three favorite tattoos are actually body suits. I really love the camaraderie that you have with your client. Body suits are very personal. People get tattoos for different reasons. It depends on if they're into the mythology or just coverage. You know, a lot of people just go for coverage and they just want to do it as fast as possible, which, you know, it's a, it's a great undertaking to, you know, embark on a whole bodysuit. You know, it's like, it, as a, a young artist, you know, you would be daunting. You're like, oh my God, that's so much space to cover. But it's, the best part about it is, you know, that you learn, you know, what your client likes, what they, you know, what they're into, what they're, you know, you, you kind of evolve the tattoo with the person because you actually get to know them in depth because you're sitting with them hours after hour after hour. And it's just a really good bond. You know, and that's why you know my favorite tattoos are basically the ones I can bond the most with my clients, you know, because it makes for a better tattoo. Mostly, um, I come up with my subject matter um, through tradition. Actually, um, there's so many woodblock prints from you know 17 and 1800s. You know, even there, I do I do some some stuff that was done before you know <laughs> before America was even here. You know. It's, and, and it's based on most traditional Japanese themes are dreams. You know, they're, they're, when they're painted, um, they paint uh, what they see in their dreams. So, and, it, and that's what becomes the folklore. I mean, it's, it's just like the Bible. You know, you, you know, the stories keep getting passed down, passed down, and passed down. And, you know, the, the Japanese folklore is the same way where, you know, the folklore is passed down and then, you know, we draw our rendition of what, you know, they drew in the past. And, you know, th that is the biggest, you know, idea getter, you know, because, you know, everybody has the different things in their lives that they relate to, you know, and they could relate to the Japanese folklore and, and they'll say, well, I want this. And I was like, yes, you know, because I, I know what, I, I've seen so much of the woodblock prints and studied so much that, that I can relate what my idea of what I think it is with, you know, and talk with them as a client and find out, you know, how it relates to them and then draw it in a manner that you know that they can they can see and, and, and relate to me so it's it's pretty cool there you know the subject matter has been there for years we just kind of make our own <laughs> make our own you know like pick our own path with it I actually quit working at a, at a tattoo studio I um, wanted to focus on my life and my craft I'm, I'm working on a book right now of traditional Japanese folklore my versions of it of course I actually, um, I live in South Carolina now, um, but I can still be reached at my email. It's uh, jvstraight a at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram at Mr. James Vaughn. Uh, Mr. James Vaughn, and thank you for looking at my portfolio. You damn phones over here vibrating my balls, motherfucker, somebody calling you and shit. That's why I fell out the chair, it was vibrating my, my nuts over here. <laughs> All right, what the fuck else we got here? <laughs> Let me try that one more time. Somebody might call back. <laughs> uh, fate, uh, God damn it. At Instagram. <laughs> Don't fart on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> <That was a little> <laughs>